you remember Moby, that cancer patient looking dweeb of a DJ who had his 15 minutes of fame in the mainstream music industry 20 something years ago? I forgot he existed too until I saw a headline that he announced that he quit Twitter. But stay tuned because that's not the story. He did announce that he was quitting Twitter, however, joining the ranks of other supposed celebrities like former comedian Jim Carrey and Elton John. He says that Twitter has become a cesspool of racism, anti-Semitism, and disinformation, which is interesting because the CIA reached out to Moby several years ago and hoped that he would help them spread disinformation. Did you ever hear about this story? This one kind of flew under the radar. Moby admitted that he had contacts within the CIA reach out to him and asked him to spread the disinformation about the Trump-Russia collusion conspiracy. Here he is on a podcast back in 2018 explaining how, well, basically Operation Mockingbird assets or those in the entertainment liaison office tried to use him to spread their disinformation as a useful idiot. Yeah, so... Years of touring um, and spending time in D.C. and New York, I've managed to make a few friends in the intelligence community. And I guess it was about a year ago, we were having dinner, and they were really concerned, partially based on this, not to go too much in the weeds, but like this Fusion GPS report on Trump essentially being run as a Russian agent. Which, of course, was obvious disinformation and has been verified to be completely fake news. And these are some active and former CIA agents who... Were who saw a complete moron celebrity and wanted to use you to help spread their disinformation. They're truly concerned. They were like, they were like this is the Manchurian candidate. Like, he have a Russian agent as the president of the United States and... So they passed on some information to me and they said, like, look, you have a big you have more of a social media following than any of us do. Can you please post some of these things just in a way to sort of put it out there? Because celebrities know what's best. Please, Moby, help us expose President Trump being a secret Russian agent. In his memoir, Company Man, 30 Years of Controversy and Crisis in the CIA, former CIA officer John Rizzo explained that the agency often uses celebrities to help spread their disinformation and propaganda and actually to function as information gathering assets since celebrities often rub elbows with foreign leaders and those foreign leaders often talk to the celebrities and reveal a little bit more information than they do to U.S. diplomats or even the President of the United States when they meet. But the agency's activities in Hollywood go much deeper than that. Sometimes they've actually openly bragged about it, like when they produced the film Argo, which is based on a true story about a CIA operation that posed as a film crew to go over and rescue some U.S. diplomats who were being held hostage in Iran back in the late 1970s. Of course, the CIA literally helped produce the film, and when Ben Affleck was producing it, he was asked a very interesting question, and to his credit, he didn't lie. Are there many actors in Hollywood who also moonlight as agents, do you think? <laughs> I think there are probably quite a few, yes. <laughs> I think probably Hollywood is full of CIA agents, and we just don't know it. Um, and I wouldn't be surprised at all to discover that, you know, this was extremely common. He knows about the entertainment liaison office. It's literally an open secret Oh, you still don't believe me? Let me show you the CIA's website. Oh, it looks like they changed the name of it. This is literally CIA.gov. It used to be called the Entertainment Liaison Office. Now it's the more innocent-sounding Office of Public Affairs, uh, where the website says that the CIA is often featured in books, motion pictures, documentaries, and other creative ventures. Actors, directors, authors, and more work with the Office of Public Affairs to better understand the CIA's intelligence mission. By maintaining these relationships, the OPA strives to provide an accurate portrayal, meaning that they're liars. They want to cover up any of the crimes that the CIA is engaged in of people at the CIA, their skills and their commitment to the public service. To achieve this goal, the Office of Public Affairs Entertainment Industry Liaison, that's the individual, the CIA officer who literally works with the Hollywood studios, works with creatives to make their scripts, stories, and other products as authentic as possible. The entertainment industry liaison can help by answering questions, debunking myths of denying facts and claiming that facts and leaked classified information is just fake news. 
arranging interviews at CIA headquarters with more propagandists to try to prevent facts about the CIA from being included in television shows and movies and books, uh, providing stock footage of the CIA's compound, and coordinating on-site filming at the CIA headquarters in special cases. Of course, only if the television show or the movie is going to paint the CIA in a favorable light. So the Operation Mockingbird handlers work with supposed journalists in the news business, while the entertainment industry liaison officers work with those in Hollywood. You see why you should read my books? I've been covering this for 15 years. The rabbit hole goes deep, my friends. The CIA creates various front groups that pose as businesses that are just CIA operations in one of those front groups then created a record label in Cuba. This is all declassified, of course, and then recruited popular Cuban hip hop artists and then handled them, you know, wrote songs for them and helped them produce music that was designed to literally encourage unrest amongst the youth. Now, I'm not saying in this particular case that this was bad. I'm just showing you how things work. In this case, they were encouraged to actually create unrest against the Cuban communist dictator. But this just shows that the CIA is behind the scenes pulling strings. Maybe sometimes they do good things. A lot of times, obviously, they don't. Like the spies who lie, the 50 current and former intelligence agency operatives, experts, who all claim that the Hunter Biden laptop was just Russian disinformation and that we shouldn't pay any attention to it. When, of course... It's real. And I'd be willing to bet that footage of the church hearing hasn't aired on national television in 50 years, or even been mentioned. That was when the head of the CIA at the time, William Colby, had to testify in a congressional hearing about how the agency was literally using operatives in the mainstream media as propagandists and gatekeepers. Do you have any people being paid by the CIA who are contributing to the national news services, AP and UPI. Well, again, I think we're getting into the kind of detail, Mr. Chairman, that I'd prefer to handle in executive session. Executive session, of course, means a private session behind closed doors, only with those members of Congress who have access to classified information. So that was in 1975, and this is what the Operation Mockingbird assets look like today. We are looking at the possibility that the President of the United States and those around him during an election campaign colluded with a hostile foreign power to undermine the basis of our democracy. Sadly, the lies never end. One thing that is going to end, however, is your ability to get a Trump Claw sweatshirt or any of my awesome t-shirts from MarkDice.com in time for Christmas. So you better order them today. But time is running out. The last day, I think, is Sunday. So get your orders in for a Trump Claw sweatshirt, an Ultra Mega shirt, F Joe Biden shirt, or any of my awesome designs. All available in a t-shirt, long sleeve, and a hoodie, and a whole bunch of different colors as well. So head on over to MarkDice.com or click the link in the description below. Head to the promo code SLACKER at the checkout to save 10% this week and check them out. <laughs>